Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and I'm going to be showing you how you can edit SVG imports within Adobe XD. Importing SVG graphics come in really handy when you don't want to spend the time creating icons and you want to pull them from a library like, say, Icons 8 has. And one of the great things about importing SVGs is you don't have to rely on what they give you. You can actually edit these SVGs and customize the icons to your own taste. So for example, I'm just going to show you uh, importing a 5 star rating system here just below this uh, $5 text. And so what I can do is I can jump into Icons 8, but remember anywhere that you get this SVG and you import it in, this applies to any SVG. So I'm just going to search for star here in Icons 8. And I have this star here, but I, I like this star with the curved corners here. So I'm just going to select this star, and I'll show you what I mean when I say you can edit these SVGs. So first off, I just want to constrain the width and the height here. And I'm going to start off with a 12 pixel width. And that looks a little bit small, so maybe I'll change that to 14 here. And now if I zoom in, I might want to use a color style that we applied in a previous video, but wait a minute. I can't apply this style and I have no way to change the color here. Now why is that? Well, with Icons 8 or other SVG graphics, if you notice in the Layers panel, it actually imports as a group. So the first thing that we want to do is just ungroup this. So we can right click and click ungroup or we can use the shortcut Shift Command G. And we'll just ungroup this and now we can see that it's actually just a path and we'll just name this to star. And so now we have access to change the colors. We can go into our assets panel once more and just change this to red here. And now I'm just going to hold down option. And with a two pixel padding here, I'm going to add five stars. And so what I want to do is I want to design a half of a star in case this gets a four and a half star rating. So the first thing that I'll do is I might want to change this star color to just a light gray. And maybe I'll use this same light gray color here. So Command C to copy this layer and then Option Command V to paste the styles here. And then what I can do is I can duplicate this by holding down Option. And I'll duplicate this one. And so now that I've duplicated this here, I can zoom into this star and I can either double click and I can select these little nodes and delete them and go about deleting everything until it's half of a star. Or if I want to make life just a little bit simpler, I can just use this rectangle tool. And I will snap this just right to the center of the star. I'm going to remove this border here. So that's the shape that we're looking for. And now I'm going to hold down Shift and select both of these layers. And then I'll just use this Subtract button. And I'm going to apply the same color style for this. And you see that it applied it, but it actually doesn't apply the transparency. So I'm just going to change this to 100%. Because remember, this isn't gray. It's actually a black fill with 30% transparency. So because we duplicated that, it acquired the same styles. And so now I have this color, but I needed to change the opacity to 100. So now I can just bring this over here. And we have four and a half stars. Now that was much easier than me trying to create this star icon and trying to create this half a star icon. Just pulling it from some library and having the power to edit anything that you want is a very great feature to have. Lastly, I'm just going to select all these stars here and I'll just uh, Command G to group this together. And then I will just align this to the center here with a 10 pixel padding. And we have ourselves a nice four and a half star rating. <laughs>